Unfortunately, yeah, guys, we couldn't make it to church today. at our neighbor's house and we just got back now i'm just gonna give jasmine something to snack on so i steamed some vegetables for her taking me such a long time to decide whether I wanted to leave my house today but can, can you leave my shoes alone can you leave my shoes alone please but I figured we should leave the house because I haven't left my house since Thursday or is it Friday funny enough I actually have a few things that I want to get done today but it's taking me so long to decide whether I wanted to do them today or not I finally decided that I am going to leave my house and it's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I know, ridiculous, right? Um, I have to go drop off something that someone bought. Um, I have to go to the ATM to get some cash and then I also need to... Um, cash! <laughs> Let's leave the house. What's the matter? Why is your clothes so mucky? It's so dirty. So this is leftover vegetables from yesterday. If you remember yesterday, I made her some um, broccoli and carrots and um, cauliflower. So what I did was I got um, I mashed up the leftover vegetables with some pear, and she's gonna have that for dinner. I don't know where all these ants are coming from. I do not know, but they are invading my house. Actually, I haven't had light all morning, so I've been unable to vlog. I'm not naked, don't worry. I've been unable to vlog because my battery was dead. Once they brought the light, I decided to quickly do an Instagram video, which is what I have just done. Guys, peep that glow. Just peep the glow. What are you looking for? Adam, kilo one best. What are you looking for? What exactly are you looking for? Hi guys. So guys, this morning I'm about to conquer a fear. Let me just moisturize my lips. So you hold on. You see my ashy lips. Anyway, so guys. 
sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, yeah, come. So, this morning, guys, I'm about to conquer a fear. I have to go to the NYC office. <laughs> I'm sure like some of you are probably wondering what happened with NYC. What the hell happened? Well, a lot happened. I don't want to get into it just because it's a really long story and I don't know. I think I want to wait until I have sorted it out to get into it. Just because, guys, you will just pity me. You feel sorry for me. And would you believe that I still haven't done NYC, guys? After about three years. Three good years. I was supposed to do NYC. No, Jasmine, leave it. Before I got married, I'm going to be married for two years next month, and I still have not done it. I have to go there this morning. I'm so scared. The last time I was at the NYC was when I was pregnant, and this woman ended up making me cry. Made me cry, y'all. Made me cry. I'm just really scared about going because I feel like that experience kind of traumatized me a bit. <laughs> um yeah so i have to go there this morning i can't find my khakis my nyc top my cap i can't find anything i don't know what where it is or where it has gone like i don't know <laughs> guys so i could not for the life of me find my clothes these are definitely not nyc trousers and i can't find my cap i honestly cannot find anything so i don't even know why i am going we might as well give it a try. I mean, the worst they'll say is no. I thought I was gonna have to spend the whole day in NYC. I had prepared and zeroed my mind to be there for ages, to meet so many different rude people, to beg, to plead, to apologize, but it was actually pretty straightforward. I'm back home. I left the house at about like 9.30 and it's 10.30 now and I'm back home. I'm quite impressed with that. So I ordered some food from downtown guys i love this burger it's the best burger i have had in abuja in terms of like fast food burger it's so good so it's come to lunch to, uh, <laughs> to do makeup <laughs> my first student the little I know about makeup, I'm gonna teach her today. Throwing tantrums. Don't smile. Mm -hmm. Don't smile. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. Okay, so you guys, I don't know, some of, <laughs> some of my new subscribers might probably be wondering that this girl is claiming to be married, but we hardly see her husband. So I am married. It's not only like, like you never see him in my vlogs. Before you would hear his voice. Now you don't even see him at all. That's because we're currently in a long distance marriage. Basically, he is work currently working away from home. He's working in Potakot at the moment. That's why he's not appearing in my vlogs. Even though when he's around, he probably won't appear in my vlogs. But he, you would hear his voice in the background. We are planning on going to see him next week. We're going to go see him for about a week or two. And then we will come back to Abuja. So you're gonna get to see daddy. You're gonna see daddy. 
<laughs> you gonna see daddy it's gonna be my first visit to port harcourt yeah. and have his first visit to port harcourt as well so yeah it should be fun <laughs> pasta some fish some crayfish some um, beef and a we do real concoction a real concoction with one hand with one hand. go on get up up i am really surprised about how much she ate i thought she wasn't gonna like it but we're almost done i literally have to dedicate at least an hour to feeding this girl but she eats which is good you also might be wondering why i um i don't have a high chair like a feeding chair for her it's because i haven't found one i like here i'm trying to find one that is like just one color or two colors so it would be like white and pink or white and black or white and blue but all the ones I've been seeing are like multicolors. If you guys know anywhere where I can get a really good high chair for feeding Jasmine that looks nice, that is pretty sturdy, then um, leave a comment down below. Just gonna do some packing now. To leave the house and go to lunch one of my friends from uni is around in abuja at the moment and um, we decided that we were going to meet up for lunch so we're going to a new restaurant that i've actually been wanting to go to called the jerk shack here in abuja so um we're gonna meet it's about almost one now we're meeting at two so i'm gonna set off at about quarter to one but i have a few things that i want to do and i need to get jasmine ready as well before we leave hence the reason why i am semi ready i can't wait to see him i haven't seen him since um, my pre-reg days when i was training doing my registration as a pharmacist i haven't seen him since then and that was like three four years ago
good food, good company, eh? Oh my lip gloss has come off. Anyways, where we went to eat today, guys, the jerk shop. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where's my phone? Let me just get my phone. <laughs> the food. The food. The food was amazing. I mean, amazing. It tasted like authentic Jamaican food. They had the. Um, the oxtail rice and peas, beef patty and chicken wings and guys it was yummy it was so good if you are in Abuja and you're looking for somewhere nice to eat this is not sponsored this is not an ad it's just me talking about a really good spot to eat amazing and also if you're looking for something that's different to your normal jello fries fried rice and really nice and different then definitely definitely visit the jerk shop i was really impressed i was really really impressed hi guys morning so it's been a bit of a rush of a morning but today i am going to an event uh, today i am going to an adore speaks event she's having a well actually it's not an adore speaks event i'm sorry it's a sisters network event i'm part of the sisters network here in Abuja, and they are doing their first ever conference today so i am going to that i'm taking jasmine with me and also the lady that cleans for me is going to come along so if i am busy she can help me look after jasmine i'm hoping that i find somebody to take a picture of my outfit today hopefully because i am really really feeling it so yeah let go got home not too long ago i'm just trying to take my makeup off um oh my goodness the event was amazing you know when you have a friend that you know is inspiring and it just encourages you to like work hard just go out there and be a boss lady that is rhoda like i am so proud of her and everything that she's done everything she's accomplished and ev or everything that she's wanting to do guys i'm so proud of her guys i need to pack for this hour trip to ph i have a pack i'm just here oh makeup off 
I use let me show you the wipes I use to like just take my makeup off when I get home this is the wipes I use it's the super drug tea tree um, wipes so I use that too and it's really good to like take up my makeup I usually only need like one 